So for me, it's like I can't understand why people think that it's weird that I'm doing a podcast still with somebody that I love. Well, just going off of things she might have done to you. <laughs> no, I think, Bobby, uh, <laughs> what, what I would say is I think people that, do understand. That was like, you know, I didn't know what else to do, right? So it's like I had to do that. You know what I mean? Because uh, that, uh, you know, that was fighting words. You know? So it's been exactly one year since the infamous Tiger Belly episode dropped in which Kalila and Bobby Lee officially announced their breakup. Now, back then, a lot of people speculated whether the podcast was going to immediately end after that, whether Kalila was going to replace Bobby Lee or Bobby Lee replace Kalila, or possibly Kalila would try to manipulate and control Bobby Lee even after they had split up. Well, recently, Bobby went on Sam's and uh, Mark Norman's podcast, We Might Be Drunk, and uh, towards the end of the podcast, the subject of Kalila was brought up and some interesting points were made. So... Let's get started. Okay. Do you see X? Didn't like it. Really? I don't like sex. Oh. We're we're weird. I would have thought you liked X. You do a podcast with one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Which is, you know, yeah. it's working out. It's working. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I had a great time. <laughs> yeah. That's a horror movie. I don't know how you do that shit. <laughs> Doing a podcast with your ex, is a, that's terrifying. What, uh, but there's real love there, though, you know? You do love her. I, I lo I'm in love with her, dude. Me Are too. You? Not in love, but I I love her like. And I don't I don't know why people don't understand this. No, well maybe well maybe it'll. Do you no, think no. Maybe just, let me. Can I just say something? I'm sorry. Please? <laughs> Quit trying to bump him. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're bumping me again, dude. You're bumping me again. That's Jeffrey, I like you now. <laughs> Good callback. So what I'm saying is is that I, you know, when you share a life with somebody for ten years, mm. and also you start a business with them, mm. which is Tiger Bell was a business, Big right? Mistake. And uh. You think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. You, you, okay. It wasn't. I mean, it's a very successful business. Yeah. Now, to be fair, it is very surprising that the podcast is doing that well, even after everything that has happened. You know, the TJ drama and some stuff that happened to Kalila as well. Now, I never thought that it was the end for Kalila, simply because, you know, Tiger Belly as a podcast, as a merch store, Clips channel, and all that stuff is massively successful. And it just wouldn't make sense to pull the plug and end a massively successful business simply because of a breakup. And I'm almost 100% sure that both George and Kalila have the same amount of equity or ownership in the podcast as Bobby Lee. However, the fact that Bobby Lee is still surprised or pretends to be surprised that people don't get why he still works with his ex is getting kind of old because even all this time, even after all this time has passed by, it is still not normal. It's, it's weird. Wow, um, I, I'm very curious about Diver Guy. I'm I'm ready for Kalila to get pregnant. Too yeah. soon, guys. Come on. No, nah. it is. How about my I'm going on vacation with my... Bobby in like two weeks? How what? about my parent in laws? No, be pregnant on that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Make him like deal get with pregnant it. on it. Make Bobby deal with your pregnancy. Oh my god, maybe. No, we're going on vacation. Just a family, like not not lovers. You guys vacation. are so weird. What the f so family, weird. it's my sister's 40th birthday and he asked if he could come. I'm like, of course you can come. Where is it? To the no, island. Oh, really? Yeah. When is her birthday? Um, The second. Are you staying but in the same room? Um, no. Mm -mm. Do all three. Because I really can't think of anybody else pulling it off at that level. I, I know of some uh, YouTubers or some streamers that have open relationships and arrangements like that, but nothing like Bobby Lee and Kalila where you know they break up with somebody and they still work with them even after everything that has happened so naturally you wonder if the whole thing is fake or if they're really the most mature couple in the internet now to be fair to bobby lee there is a chance that because of what happened in his past with carlos mencia he feels guilty and now has decided to stick with kalila even after everything that is going on because at this point even if tiger belly the podcast completely ended and bobby lee stopped getting money from that he is financially set. He has a lot of other sources of revenue and Bad Friends podcast, which is completely killing it. So he would be fine. On the other hand, Kalila, not so much. And I think that's pretty fair. So that would be one of the reasons why they're still together, even though, you know, they have broken up. Yeah, no, what I'm saying that I don't think is, you know, because I don't view relationships as just of a sexual, you know, me contract with somebody. Like same, right? It's a spiritual contract with somebody. It's an emotional contract with somebody, and you become friends with that person, yeah. and you care about that person. Uh -huh. right? So for me, it's like I can't understand why people think that it's weird that I'm doing a podcast still with somebody that I love. 
Well, just going off of things she might have done to you. <laughs> no, I think, Bobby... <laughs> What, what I would say is, I think people that, do understand. That was like, you know, I didn't know what else to do, right? So it's like I had to do that. You know what I mean? Because I, 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 you know, that's fighting words. You know, sorry, yeah, sorry. So you, need, yeah, yeah. you need, I think, time, like distance no, no. and time to heal. No, no. Sometimes, no, no, no healing. What do you mean healing, dude? From a breakup. I think but, the, but, people, but you have to understand it deteriorated over years. It wasn't an abrupt. Breakup, like out of yeah. nowhere. True, right? true. There were things that were not working for the last couple of years, right. and it was sort of like you know, what I mean, we could kind of see, you know, what I mean, the end. But my point though is, is like, I got in a fight with comics at the comics that are like screaming match, and we're like, you know, some of these fucking comics are like, no, once it's done, it's done. I don't even ever talk. We about wouldn't it. know. We don't work there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 now, Mark was trying to be funny there, but he actually does have a point. If we were to compare what both Bobby Lee and Kalila did in the relationship that caused it to, you know, eventually end, I think Kalila would come out losing or, you know, not looking the best. Now, that doesn't mean that Bobby Lee is completely innocent or that he is a saint. At the end of the day, he did agree to the open relationship and it was his last attempt to try and keep Kalila happy without doing any of the hard work and self-reflection and all of that. And here's the thing, I do disagree with Mark when it comes to, you know, the idea that working with a partner or husband or starting a, a business with them is a horrible idea. It might not be the best idea if you have other, be if you have better choices, but at the end of the day, there are many businesses and podcasts out there that are doing that are doing just fine. By the way, if you like what you're seeing so far, please make sure to hit that like button. It helps push the video to more people, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. The point, though, is, is that yeah. because there are a lot of people online that give her a hard time. No, I would never. They do. I they that, they I, rip on her online, I and I'm tired up. of it. That I sucks. I hate all the online ripping. You know these, I mean? these nerds out there, that's all they have. They're not. This is their soap opera. Yeah. And it, it, it's like, you know, do say what you, have, you can have your opinion, but I'm yeah. just telling you that it hurts me. I get it. I hear that. And it, it hurts me. And, and clearly you do love her and, and you want her in your life and they should accept that. Yeah. I'll tell you another thing, friend. Okay. Please, yeah. Santino. Yeah. Uh -oh. Right. And I want to say this and I don't want to get emotional, but that dude, right, has stood by me, right, during thick and thin, yeah. like a war. Mm. Okay. I will never betray him. Mm. Ever. It's weird when people say that. Like, who is talking about betraying I know. I'm friends? just telling you. Know. Because this is like Games yeah, of Thrones, well, man. Well, this you should like see what he texts me. <laughs> and I'm going to say this too, right? But you two right now? Yeah, sure. Never betray you. Mm. You won't betray us or we should never. Oh, really? Right. I feel the same way about right. you, man. So what am I, that's my point. That's why okay. we have you on. We like you. <laughs> Obviously, Mark Norman saying that people that hate on Kalila are rude, are nerds. Uh, are losers is him being extremely charitable extreme being extremely nice to Kalila because we all know that sure there are haters there they, there are trolls out there that that just want to hurt people but when it comes to people like Kalila and Brendan Schaub it's not as easy as just saying oh it's just a hater it's just trolls because there's a little bit more to it when it comes to those specific people. And the thing is, when it comes to Kalila and Brendan Schaub, I do try to be as neutral and as nice as possible. But it's one of those things where even if you look, if you go through their most recent clips or, or podcasts, you will find something that will just make you click off or think, man, these, these people have no hope. You we have no plans to betray. You have people on this podcast you don't like that much. Well, the bartender's right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my point is, is that like yeah. for me... Listen, I want to say this too, man. This is here, dude. Uh oh. Yeah. Right? My manager, I could be with a big, fancy, colorful, you know what I mean? Energetic management company. I could pick anyone I want and they would sign me, right? But I have the manager I have because this woman in the 90s, you know what I mean? Pointed at me and goes, I believe in you. Wow. And I am going, and I am going to stick by you. And w during my successful times, I'm going to stick by her. I'm not with CAA because they're a big, shiny fucking agency. They're pretty Matt big. Blake, I know they are, but Matt Blake I was with when he was at the smaller one. Once again, it looks like Bobby Lee wants to make it a point that he will be sticking with Kalila, Santino, and all the people that were essentially there for him when he was at his lowest. 
which is fa- which is fair. I mean, I respect that. And that takes us to our next point. Bobby Lee has been doing extremely well when it comes to career-wise, numbers-wise, and mental health-wise, in my opinion. I believe he's been uh, sober for over a year, and he didn't relapse even after the entire breakup, which is pretty impressive. At this point, it would be very easy for Bobby Lee to jump ship, cut ties with Kalila and the podcast Target Belly, and free up space to do more profitable things. Think about it. Bad Friends is, has officially surpassed Tiger Belly and subscribers, but it wouldn't be the best look for Bobby Lee because on the other hand, Kalila's project, Trash Tuesday, they've been having a pretty rough past couple of months with uh, Brennan Shop's channel, Thick Boy, basically getting three times as many views as they do every single month. Ever since then, the other co-hosts, Annie Letterman and Esther, have started their own podcast as they realized that the plan to push the podcast until they eventually got a spot on Joe Rogan to promote it was never going to work after the whole little girly talk. I would say I'm not too uh, ashamed to say if you're a fan, make sure you're watching all the way through. Watch time is very important in the algorithm and the algorithm doesn't like us because there's a lot of men out there who think we're whole and they're mad so we need you guys to help fight them and it's also very interesting that they're taking the whole whitney cummings approach and essentially blaming the haters or blaming misogynistic men for their poor performances uh, lately and listen i don't dislike the podcast i mean it's not for me but i get it I- i've watched the episode with bobby lee rick glassman i think this uh chris de stefano and another one it- they were fine they were pretty good episodes But even if I just go back and listen to the one that I just uh, showed you, the entire episode was talking about sex, which is fine, but I thought it was a comedy podcast, and now they're essentially turning into the female versions of Fresh and Fit, it sounds like. For example, if you watch a little bit of that last episode, you will notice that Kalila still feels the need to come out and say the wildest things for no reason that make no sense. I feel like we all have that one friend or no one person like that in real in real life where at some point you get exhausted you get tired of calling them out so ju- so you just kind of accept their stories and which is very interesting because that is something that Brendan Schaub himself continues to do on his own podcast where he knows people have called him out for his lies and he still continues to just say the most the, the craziest stuff on the podcast hoping that nobody will catch it it never happens and funny enough he is also leaning into excuses of why his uh, podcast is not doing so well essentially blaming the youtube algorithm and how they're censoring everybody when you could get into a whole argument about that but we all know that if you have good content you could say bad words and you'll, you'll still be up there but if you say some weird edgy stuff then you'll you will get taken down i mean it's just how the business is uh brendan shubb however he is not an edgy comedian i i still listen to the fighter and the kid they don't talk about the truth or the craziest subjects so why even risk it and also you're fighting like that club actually. Y- yeah it's not a bad club uh but then you're fighting the demon of youtube too that rogan called it but it was just like when he went out he's like you guys need to get out it's only gonna get worse i'm like i get that but we're not youtube so if we jump we lose the fan base like we're not you when you get out of what youtube youtube because youtube censored it like if we cuss early on this this, this is suppressed so the freedom of speech on YouTube is no longer the, like Tim except Dillon. For, except his for in the comments, YouTube. he did. Yeah, wow. a lot of people get like. Wait, you, why? You, why? Because they're suppressing everything. He'll talk about who are you I'm, talking about? Are you Tim talking? Dillon. Okay. Matt, I mean, stud. And so because it. of the way he talks about it, they suppress it. Well, whatever. If he cuss, he says something they don't like. It's boom. What? And you know how it is. Like I argue with YouTube all the time. When you go to them, they they don't give you any explanation. Like nope, we just don't agree with it. They like, get yeah, but tell us why. Like nope, sorry. So they, what they did is built their own platform. Like, cool, really? we're out. At the end of the day, both of their excuses don't matter because Bobby Lee is the perfect example that one year later, he was really able to take advantage of all that attention and monetize it and essentially grow his business. Where Brendan Schaub and Kalila pretty much got lost in the whole Reddit drama and making everybody hate them. But yeah, it's been a whole year now and it'll be interesting to see what happens. Will they continue to work together uh, years into the future? Will the whole relationship fall apart or... Will they eventually get back together? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram if you want to connect. Dislike if you didn't like the video. But that is all we have for today. See ya.